Hello and welcome to Confidence Through Comedy, the course that helps you to improve your communication skills and self-confidence through humour. Now you may have come to me because you're looking for that extra bit of confidence in everyday life. Maybe you've always been a little shy and you're looking for a way to crack that fear of rejection or preventing yourself from saying the wrong thing and being embarrassed. Maybe you're hoping to bring out your natural personality to help you communicate better with, say, your employees or your fellow workers or even people you meet for the first time. And the thought of being humorous and jokey to help break the ice has always appealed to you. You might just want to be able to hold court in a pub like that person down your local does. You know, the sort that everyone seems to gravitate towards and he or she can ad lib with the best of them and the stories are hilarious. Maybe you have to give a speech at a works function or a wedding and you don't really know where to start. But it could be that you're looking for a better working knowledge of comedy and how to create and perform it. Whatever it is you require, I'm here to set you off in the right direction with lots of helpful instruction and you'll have fun along the way. You see, the one thing I know for sure is that humour breaks down barriers. Also, people react in a positive way to people they like. Many a business deal has been secured over a humorous social interaction and you'll always get a more positive reaction to your requests if they're done with a smile. Look at the difference eye contact and enthusiasm can make. I'll imagine I'm meeting you for the first time and greeting you with a handshake. Firstly, with little eye contact and no commitment, then with full eye contact and enthusiasm. Hello, pleased to meet you. Hello, pleased to meet you. Same words but a massive difference in the perceived warmth and intent. Right then, why is it some people can make almost any situation funny? How do they know the right things to say? Why can't you find the funny things to say? Because you're not looking in the right places. On this course, you're gonna find out where to look for the funny, how to look for the funny, and most importantly, when to use it. Note to self, funerals are sometimes not the best place for comic quips. Maybe afterwards at the wake, but you've got to know your audience. Throughout this course, we're going to find your funny and you'll have fun doing it. We'll learn how to write jokes, how to deliver them, how to find humour in everyday life and through conversation, how to form routines all of the time, building up your comedy know-how and in the process, naturally, increase your self-confidence. Now look, you are at the centre of this. What you're going to create will be completely unique. So, what makes me think that I'm the right guy to help you in this endeavour? Who is this person standing before you? I hear you cry. Andy Ford. Andy Ford. Andy Ford. Andy Ford. Andy Ford. Mr. Andy Ford. Yep, that's me, Andy Ford, a professional entertainer for 46 years and stand-up comedian for 36. Throughout my career, I've performed thousands of shows all around the globe and many television appearances. I even got the chance to present my comedy at the world-famous Royal Variety Show in the presence of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Ah, the wonderful world of pantomime. This has given me the chance to work with some great stars and even write some material for us to perform together. Well, it's been fantastic so far. So many wonderful memories and hopefully a lot more to come. So, that's me. A lover of comedy and all its intricacies, pitfalls and rewards. But let's talk about you. What is it that makes you laugh and why? Who are the comedians and comedy performers that really do it for you? If other people find something funny but you don't, then that's probably not the style for you. 
You must, and I can't stress this enough, you must only ever present what makes you laugh. Your sense of humor is king. That's what I've always believed. Now, maybe after presenting a joke a million times on stage, it won't have me rolling around on the floor, but it's always important to remember how funny you thought it was when you first wrote or heard it. Trust your own sense of humor. Now, my dear student, it's time to begin. Your first bit of coursework is 